Welcome to a new video looking further at how we're deploying artificial intelligence to assist with disclosure writing in the Code Gaia software. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how we can read company policy documents and then automatically generate disclosure content on the base of those documents. In this example, we are confronted with E21, which is a requirement to describe the policies which have been adopted to manage pollution prevention and control. There are, of course, some further instructions about the kind of content that should be included in the disclosure. There is also the fairly extensive regulatory text and the additional application requirements, which all apply towards this single disclosure requirement. Now, drafting this text from scratch might be quite time consuming, and it would also be frustrating for companies who already have policies which are adopted to manage these aspects. But it seems somewhat inefficient then to have to open up one's own company policy to, from scratch, write the text which summarizes that policy in your sustainability statement. CodeGuy's solution then is to offer AI that will read your documentation for you and it will propose the first draft text. So we're going to do a live example of that right now. In order to accomplish this task, the first thing I'm going to do is click on the draft with AI button, which is beneath the disclosure input. I'm asked by way of check whether I'm comfortable overwriting any existing content which I've drafted. In this case, I'm happy to do so. There is no existing content. And now I'm presented with the input prompt. At this point, I'm going to change from the first option, which is where I can specify my own context by typing it, and I'm going to select Read From Searchable PDF. Now I can attach a PDF file that has been previously drafted. And in this case, I'm going to attach a company policy which is aimed at this very specific purpose. The example I'm going to upload is actually a publicly available global environmental policy that has been published by Telefonica in 2019. So this is a real world example of a corporate environmental policy. And this is the document I'm going to upload in order for my AI to read this document and to suggest the disclosure content. So we will attach the file. And after just a couple of seconds, possibly less, we now have the 14,000 or so characters have been read by the AI and are pasted into this context input. That is the first step. Now, the second step is to retrieve the generated disclosure content. I'm going to hit the Start Generating button in the bottom right, and then we'll have to wait some time for the model to run for the suggested text to arrive. So the activity took about 35, 40 seconds in this case, then obviously I skipped it for the benefit of this video. And here is the text that is now suggested as my disclosure input. We've got a summary of the document itself at the top here, which is correct, including the date of implementation and the level in the organization which the document has been approved, the director level. A summary of the aims of the policy is mention of mitigation of negative impacts relating to pollution. There is the addressing of substitution and minimization of substances of concern, the phasing out of substances of very high concern, promoting eco design. There is policy aims to avoid emergency incident situations. There is the Implementation level throughout the organization here are being apparently maintained by all Telefonica Group companies. And at the bottom of the description, we have mention of other departments, other groups, and an annual review process. So that is the information that our AI has decided to populate with based on the input documentation. I can now accept that text, and it is pasted into the disclosure 
And at this point now, as the sustainability manager or the reporting manager, I can now start editing this text to make sure that it is specific, to make sure that it is correct, and to try and remove any errors that may have crept in as a result of the AI drafting. It should be noted that the primary goal here is time saving. What we're trying to do is reduce the duplication that companies go through when reporting. The first part of that is obviously writing these policy documents themselves. But the frustration often for reporting managers is to have to summarize that in their disclosures when they've already gone through the work of writing the documents in the first place. This is one key area where we think there's a great benefit from AI assistance. It can do these fast summarizations for you. And at this point, the human effort is just required to go through and make those edits and corrections to finalize the disclosure content. One additional measure you can also do once you've drafted your text is you can attach the specific document you used as an audit trail PDF. I'm going to do that now by selecting the Telefonica Global Environmental Policy, and I'm going to attach it via upload to the CodeGuy software. Now that that is done, the source document from which the content was derived is also available on a permanent basis. And this is then something that an auditor or an assuring company can look at when they are doing the assurance of your report. As with the last video where we looked at human prompted disclosure, drafting by the AI, thank you for your time in checking out this short video. And if there's anything Code Guy can do to help you with your sustainability disclosure drafting and your report writing, feel free to get in touch, www.codeguy.io.